G'day everyone, I'm Ryan O'Shea, or By Nibble Chomp, one of the Strategic Command Developers. I've helped design the um, Empires in Turmoil DLC, which we've released recently for Strategic Command World War 1. And today I'll be showing you a multiplayer series against Old Crow Belthazor, where we play the 1916 Line of Africa campaign. This one covers the East African campaign of the First World War. Um, a conflict that was featured in Strategic Command 2, but I've redesigned for this new entry in the series. And we've got some instructions. I wrote the game. I should know what to do even better than those instructions say. <laughs> well, at least that's the theory. Uh, yeah, go away. Um, so what we've got here, this is German East Africa. We're controlling the British, the Portuguese, and the Belgians. And our eventual goal is going to be destroy every single German unit, regardless of if they're in German East Africa, or if they run off. Um, as they did historically, they spent about a year just being chased around the Portuguese territories. So we've really got to trap every single unit and then destroy it. If we do that within 50 turns, which will take us to... Um, November 25th, 1918, then we'll win. If there's one unit left at the end, then we lose. Simple as that. Uh, do we want to build a steamer? No, we don't. Why? Because I'm a cheapskate, that's why. I'm going to find that steamer in port somewhere and just sink it that way. Or if it decides to leave port, then it'll just like be abandoned there. It's not going to do anything, so... <laughs> Alright, so we've got a few armies scattered about the place. Um, got a northern group here, their first objectives are going to be um, these towns here. Got this force. Around here somewhere it will be um, Paul von Leto Vorbeck, the titular Lion of Africa. We won't get rid of him as soon as possible because he's going to cause a lot of trouble otherwise. Got our southern force there. And then we've got the Portuguese. They're not actually in the war turn one. They'll come in shortly. Um, they're, they're by far the weakest um, of our forces. And then we've also got a few warships, which the Germans won't have any warships, so they're of limited use, but might be able to do something with them. We'll see. It's been a couple of months since I played this, actually, so... Let's see if I can remember what to do. I was, in part, the architect of the strategy that um, Ulcro is likely to be using in this. Um, the German units are able to move six or seven um, hexes versus the British initially five. So there's a lot of room to just sort of run around the opposition, just try and outflank them and make them um, chase you into the wild. I have done that to great effect quite a few times while testing this so I, I'm very aware of the strategy and I'm going to have to do everything I can to prevent it being carried out against me so this unit's not that dangerous we're just going to leave it there for a couple of turns siege it down eventually trap it um, put this one here so that you can't do that he shouldn't be able to get this the the general rule for the um british player is anything within seven hexes of the thin brown line over here is trouble you go garrison it otherwise it'll get it'll get hit by something sooner rather than later um can't transport him turn one that is going to slow us down a bit i want to put something in port florence immediately Maybe I'll do that. Let's see what I do around here first. Someone in there. I'll move these guys down. Uh, you will want to entrench. The, the German units are... Uh, they're, they're strictly speaking the same strength as the British um, brigade one, or uh, regiment units that are um, the two-man counters. Um, but they've got um, they've got to worry about running away more than 
fighting, because if you get stuck in any spot and pinned down as the Germans, then eventually you'll get destroyed. They just don't have the the points to do too much with otherwise. Um, what I would like to do is seal off a few of these towns and eventually split the German force into a couple of groups so I can then concentrate on destroying them piece by piece. Get rid of this good squad. We will want to upgrade our artillery eventually, but we don't have the research for it yet. Yeah, I, th I think whoever was leading those attacks needs to go back to um, officer school or something, because usually you're able to knock out a unit on the first turn. Um, very much not the case today. Oh, come on. That I, d I don't think that one's Leto Vorbeck. I think that's one of his, one of his subordinates. Okay, there's cavalry there. Do that and then I'll be able to see if he puts something in either of these two next turn. If not, capture it. If he does, trap the unit. We'll move you down. Not sure that was actually a good idea. Um, There. Put the plane just to. I mean, the plane's not, not that useful. I'll just use it to block him somewhere. Over here, we've moved. Now, Bismarck's burger, I'd like to have that one siege down as quickly as possible. Um, otherwise. There's a lot of traps you can you can start if you're careful about how you position your units. So I, I want Bismarcksburg shut down immediately. So that place is trouble. mountain does. I did write the game, I don't need to be told how to play it, thanks. One thing we don't have to worry too much about is amphibs. The British can do them that they are pretty expensive. The Germans probably not. They have the capacity to research them, but there's not a lot of benefit to doing so. What I would like to do, prevent him from shipping anything down here. One gambit I like to do as the Germans is, there, there's a couple of units along the coast. If you can transport one down there, unload it and Lindy, you can, like before the Allies are able to get their defences all set up here. Can cause a lot of mischief. So if I can shut that possibility down straight away by putting something here, best to do that. Can bring you a little bit forward. We'll have to see about capturing some of these German towns, but he might defend them. Don't want to be too ambitious with what you do. Portugal's not strong enough to do too much. Alright, have I moved everyone? No, I haven't. If you're down the swamp down there, I'll move you by boat later. Um, and I think that's everyone. 
Almost. You want to be in a trench. Alright, let's see what he does. I haven't brought you forward. That is something I should do. Alright. That's turn one. Portugal enters. Right, thanks for watching. See you next time.